scriptures, we see that Christ had already said, come ye that are laden, I will give ye rest. And so that's the rest that he's actually talking about. And um, the, the burdens that they had on them or whatever, he was trying to give them rest from that. But uh, you know what's interesting, though? Because if you if you look at Genesis, right? Mm-hmm. In Genesis, it says, um, if I'm not mistaken, it says, uh, matter of fact, let me go there real quick. I don't want to get it. This is Genesis chapter three. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get there. Genesis three. And uh, let's go to verse. Uh, verse. Uh, let's see. Right here, 19. Well, let's jump to 16 for context. Uh-huh. 17. 17. So it says, And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou should not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the, of the field. And the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return to the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and and unto thus shall thou return. So if you look at this text right, clearly we see that Adam experienced a type of, you know, gathering with God, a type of rest in the beginning. And that type of rest that we see was the first rest that we see that he would have had with God for us meeting with God, you know what I'm saying, and him and his wife and in good standards with God. And so after that, it says that he's going to rest. I mean, it says that he's going to work in the sweat of his face. Is he going to get bread? Mm-hmm. And so the the interesting thing is about that is, is this is the God is showing us that when man after the fall has been laboring ever since the fall, and uh, even if, even to enter back into that rest of God, they have been laboring every since after that, the fall of Adam. And so then when they say, well, technically Abraham and them, they had Sabbath days or the nations had Sabbath days because that's what you're going to hear. You know what I'm saying, uh, especially from seven day Adventists, but technically it's not saying that the reason why God showed Israel, it says he made known to him his sabbath he made known to them his sabbath his holy day his sabbath because what israel was made known to was a a rest that we see that was symbolic of that which was christ and so we see that there 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 there's a a little bit of heaven on earth with israel and so god is foreshadowing things and showing them that they have this rest every since then that we see from the fall of man man has been every day every day just working working to survive working to sustain themselves uh working to even get back to that place if not even back to that place but establish themselves apart from god but just working not realizing that it's only through god that you can receive true rest and uh, the, and he's the one that can uplift the curse that we see this on the earth that can cause everyone to have that that type of rest mentally first, spiritually first, and then physically, because that's very important. So 